uh, we will make an examples for modified Wooler's method, and we will use the same example we did for the Wooler's method so that we can compare the modified Wooler's method with the Wooler's method in accuracy. Um, let's try it. So the analytical solution is e to the x. Let's use modified Wooler's method. Similarly, we will make a table. Okay. There will be x and compare the difference between the Wooler's method and the um, modified Wooler. We have a y n plus y star here and we have y n. We also have y prime, which is dy over dx. That is the y prime. Um, okay, then um, let's start with zero as well. So it's zero. And then uh, since this is the initial value problem, then y zero equals to one. Okay, and we don't have y n plus one star. And dy over dx equals to one. It's the same as Wooler's method. However, let's start with the delta h is still uh, the h si uh, step size is still equals to one, so that we can compare. Um, the next independent variable will be one. Then, uh, what is the algorithm for modified Wooler's method? You have to uh, evaluate what is the k1 and the k2, right? So the first is the x equals to one. Then we evaluate. Okay, we evaluate our k1 and the k2. So k1 is equals to h f x n y n. It will be h y prime, and that is one times y prime equals to one. That is one. What is our k2? The k2 is h f x n plus one y n plus one star, and that is h f x n plus one y n plus k y. And y n where the y n plus one star is equals to y n plus k1. So it's one plus one equals two. Then we get our y n plus one star equals to two. Then uh, what is our y so y n plus one star prime what is our y n prime that is basically our f x n plus one y n plus one star here and uh, that is equals to two right because y n plus one prime will be equals to y n plus one star so it's two. Then we get our K2 will be equals to H times F X N plus one, Y N plus one star is equals to one times two equals to two. So we get our, what is our K1 and K2. Then the next step is calculate what is the increment function Y n plus one equals y n plus half of k1 plus k2 that is y n y n is our one plus half of one plus two is 2.5 so that is 2.5 and then we can update our dy over dx equals y prime equals y that is 2.5 Let's make a, another example so that you can be familiar with that. Let's make point uh, x equals to two. Then what is our by n uh, plus one star? Let's make second part, the x equals to two. Then the k1 will be equals to h y prime. That is one times 2.5 is 2.5. Okay, then what is our k2? The k2 will be equals to h times basically y n plus one star prime is equals to h times y n plus one star because the y prime equals to y. 
So what is our yn plus one star here? That is yn plus k1. So our yn is 2.5 and our k1 is 2.5 as well. So it's five. Then we put yn plus one here is five. And what is our yn? So the k2 will be h times by n plus one star that is five, okay? Then we have the increment function by n plus one will be equals to by n plus half of k1 plus k2. What is our by n? It's 2.5, one half of k1 is 2.5, our k2 is five, so that we get our final solution for by n plus one will be equals to 6.25, 6.25, 6.25. you can do later on those uh, studies. Let's put uh, those numbers uh, into our chart, trying to compare with Wooler's method and the exact solution. So if you see that our initial value is now changed, so let's use triangle here, um, is x equals zero, y equals one. The x equals one, that is 2.5. So it's in between the Euler's method and the exact solution here. And then when x, x equals two, y equals 6.25. So it's here, right here. And then if you keep continue calculate this, the next point is around 12 there. So uh, basically you can see significant improvements of the second order range Kuta as compared to the first order range Kuta, which is the Wooler's method. But it still will have some uh, difference between the exact solutions that can be one because of the truncation arrow. The other one is because you know that the H step size is quite large. Okay.